I was going to say I'm live, but then I always say I'm live. So, well, now I said I'm live. Damn it. So, very welcome to this live cast. This live thing, whatever it is. Live, live pot? I don't know. Big head, no ears. Andreas Bruman. Hello, people. <laughs> welcome to my little soiree uh, where I am... Because I thought, tomorrow is my birthday. Hello, Fra... Oh, people are just joining like mad. Sauvignon Rick, bonjour, monsieur. To Dalex, hello. Oh, my God, people are really... Oh, my God. So, the thing is, tomorrow is my birthday. Thank you, Andreas. <laughs> so, I'm doing... Mr. Buskis, wow. People are really sort of... Is it my new sweater? So, it makes you... Uh, oh, damn, hello. Happy birthday. Thank you. So tomorrow is my birthday. So anyone feeling up to sort of gratis if I've got so Thank you. Oh my God, how many people are there? Hey, from Ireland. Hey, Ireland. Hello, from Ireland, it says. Oh, we have a lot on the concept. Hello. <laughs> so I hope you all really love this new sweater I've got. Cafe Sumper. There's so many people joining. I'm really, really popular this evening. Fantastic. So, this is my new sweater. I bought it second hand. It was really, really itchy. This is not what this is going to be. This is going to be about my birthday present. But, I just want to show you. So, this is from wool and merino wool. And it's supposed to be really soft. And it wasn't. But it wasn't supposed to be soft. I, I bought it and I thought, oh, this is really itchy. And then I read online that you can do, uh, you can use hair conditioner uh, instead of, um, you know, fabric softener when you, when you wash it. And I did. And now it's really, really soft. It's sort of, it's a little bit itchy, but I'm a grown up man. I can take it. When I was a kid, it was sort of, this would make me cry. But then I'm so much older now. And tomorrow is my birthday. Now here's the story. We are going to try, I'm going to show you three perfumes that I bought. And two days ago, I was having a bubble bath because I was just, wait, two days. Yes, yeah, Sunday night. I was having a bubble bath because we didn't have a show. And I have a bubble bath. I lay, I lay reading and I drank some white wine. And then suddenly I thought, hmm, maybe I should buy this. It's my birthday. We're excited you finally have perfumes and bags to put them in. Someone is being ironical, I think. Sauvignon Rick is... Uh, I'm going to start with that. Yeah, I'm going to do more live st streams, I think. Live stream. That's the word I was looking for before. Oh, I'm sorry. Haha, this is I am very funny. Strange and funny. Thank you. Anyway, I was lying in the bathtub and drinking wine. And suddenly I realized, oh, it's my birthday the day after tomorrow. So maybe I should give myself a gift. And there's this really great Swedish site, a company called Fragrance and Art. It's fragranceandart.com. And they have these sort of non-tax-free, you know, the kind of perfumes, sort of special things, things you never heard of, things you, your OnlyFans. <laughs> yes, yes, I should start doing your OnlyFans. This is my way. Please give me money. So anyway, I uh, I went online there. I've been there several times and bought stuff. I, I They're really nice. Uh, I don't know if they're really nice. But hard summer, but it's not, no, I'm not paid for this. <clears throat> I'm not smart enough to getting paid for this. But anyway, so fragrance and not go there and, and sort of look at the stuff they have because it's really good. And you can sort of get samples. You, you have to pay for them, but you can get samples. But it's if you sort of if you don't want to sort of smell like everyone else and if you don't want to smell like a tax free shop, this is a great alternative. You can also go in there, see where they have. And then you, maybe if you're not from Sweden, you can sort of go somewhere else and buy them. Hello, Adam. Or Johan Hermansen. Hello. Hermansen, are you from Norway? So anyway, I ordered this. In a drunken stupor, I ordered three perfumes because I really, I, I really felt, no, let's, let's put this. I felt like celebrating the unity and the marvelousness that is me. Things should be celebrated. So I just couldn't decide. Also, I was a little bit drunk. So I, I, I got, I got three perfumes instead. 
here is the bag. I ordered it Sunday night and Tuesday morning. It's here. So that's quick. And I guess, so I just, you know, because I've seen it online what people do. So just open it. <coughs> Sorry, I've just been eating. So why cough? I don't know. Uh, thank you for my order, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, yes, this could be good because I can see how much I spent. So, I ordered. Hello, everyone. So fun. If you got any questions, hello, Martin. Oh, everyone, follow the guy. If you can see me, Martin Redenord. Fantastically funny. Liza Minelli, talented. And funny like Friends and Saunders. So, yeah. Martin the actor joined. Yes, he did. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I will now show you the perfumes I bought for myself. So because it's my birthday tomorrow. Uh, and then I thought, I told you earlier today that I was going to do this at eight o'clock. And then I realized, fuck, I should do this on my actual birthday. Right? But no, I didn't. Oh, look, it's sort of, they got this foam and it's all sort of in threes. Oh, oh, and in sort of turds. So anyway, I can't really get it up. <laughs> How many times have I said no? Uh, <laughs> so if anyone got any questions about perfumes, I can't answer them. But hey, Stefan Wahlberg, hello. So I just met Stefan Wahlberg, who just joined. I met him a couple of hours ago. He's uh, doing costumes for a secret project that are not supposed to be allowed. And he's also doing the costumes for Tootsie, which be, will be on uh, Oscar Schaffen this autumn. Thorgy. So, people, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm feeling... <clears throat> I, I, love it. I like getting packages. Oh, so nothing here? No. Good. So, this is what's in there, except all those little things. So... <laughs> Linus Tunes. Oh God. Hello, people, everyone. Hopefully you sort of love this. I'm opening my own Christmas, pre no, birthday present. So I got this. This is spectacular because every time you order, you get sort of three free samples. Uh, things they think you might like. And since I ordered three perfumes, I got, let's count them. Because I got all night. I don't, you know, if you don't want to join, or if you want to leave, please, you, you're free to do so. I will not cry openly. Which birthday is it for me? I was born in 1964. So, how? Det där inlägget du gjorde när kvinnorna bar en divan och du filmade var hysteriskt. Yes, yes. The, the, Andrea said, the, the, the story I tell when the women were carrying a, a cheslong. My commentary was fantastic. And especially the woman you didn't tell about, who just stood there, sort of, I'm a woman, I'm not helping out. I'm, I, I, I'm looking like I'm helping out, but I'm not. So, let's see all the free, free samples I've got. I got Eau de Gloire. Oh, fuck, you can't see this. This is something called Eau de Gloire, but it's to you, it's the other way around. Something called Metaphor... Metaphor... I don't know. This is so interesting. Nice bergamot. My God. I mean, as you can see, these are things you never heard of. Barry Lyndon. Look. Oh, we can't, we can't read it. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm um, and samples like that. This is, this is rake, rake and ruin. I, 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 I I might do this tomorrow because I plan to sort of celebrate alone. Hello, everyone who's joining. I'm just showing my um, birthday present for myself. I got a little drunk and ordered some perfume online and now we're going to sort of check them out. And this is a new sweater I bought secondhand. It's terribly, terribly hot. That's the reason I'm looking sweaty. Avole. Have anyone ever heard of these perfumes? This is one called Riviera Drive. And uh, kins Kinsugi and Ormond Jane. Oh, and Bosse Obukis, we can. Hello. I am just trying out, trying 
I ordered a birthday present for myself. Well, I got three. So I got three perfumes. So let's start. The first one we are going to do is, let's see. Here. Oh, no, not that one. This is the first one from Frank Beauclay. And it's called Café. And, oh, yes, and I have, oh, I translated it for you here. Wait, I can see, I can show you, because I really prepared. This is the way it looks. Look there. How nice, isn't it? And I bought these online at a place in Sundsvall in Stockholm. Well, the, 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 the shop is there. So, hello, Lavender. Oh, my God, people are just joining. I am opening my Christmas present to myself. So, now we've seen enough of that. Uh, that's the first uh, perfume called Café. Uh, oh, I don't want to... Wait, I don't want to... I want to stop. Wait, I want to... Wait, how? How do I get rid of this stupid... I did it so well yesterday. Oh, good. So how do I get... Oh, no. <laughs> so, it can stay up there. This looks nice. I'm so sweaty. Here, a nice little box. And someone, some people tell me that the boxes cost more than the perfumes themselves. And here is Cafe. And this one was 850 kronas, which is $85, I guess, about, or pounds, or stuff like that. Well, here, the hem sidan. Mean, oh God, wait, I need to get rid of this because I can't, how do I, sorry, people, how do I, hopefully I can, how do I get rid of that? Because I can't really, oh, that. Vad heter hemsidan? Min hjärna means ingenting du säger eftersom du vill spår hela tiden. Yes, someone just told me that I keep switching. Yeah, I need to be more professional, right? It's my birthday tomorrow, I bought some stuff and the 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 website is called fragranceandart.com hello yeppe it's really great go there and check it out so now i will try i'll try to get rid of this oh maybe i do that yes so sorry now i can concentrate when i got rid of that one so cafe this is supposed this is what it says I'm going to read this with my nicest sort of porn voice, pornographic voice. No, I will not. Café is a fragrance inspired by the aroma of Colombian coffee. In the top note, the scent reveals glittering hints of bergamot, mandarin, lemon and coffee. Well, that would be strange if it wasn't. In the heart, the coffee is mixed with the floral and aromatic notes of rose, lilies, oh, orange blossom, uh, orange blossom, rosemary that gives freshness to the aroma. Mm. Finally, the coffee is mixed with the oriental and woody notes such as sandalwood, cedar, patchouli, vetivier, and oak moss, and softened with amber and vanilla. Doesn't that? Can I try to pronounce your neck, said someone here. And that person is called Stestronikobe. Ah, Stestronikobe. It's, no, it's not really hard, it's really easy. So, hello people who just joined. I'm trying out perfumes and I'm going to try out this one called Café from Frank Beauclay. Oh, so I've got to, yeah, i got two arms what, what, where I'm going to... The last one, where am I going to put that? Well, let's think about that later. Oh, I pronounced it. I pronounced the name kind of right. Stejstronjukuba. If it, I think it's sort of, to me, it sounds sort of Middle Eastern. No, um, like Poland or something. I, I think. Anyway, so let's now try the coffee perfume. And then we do like that. And I have read a book about perfumes and I noticed that the first there's, there's three layers. First is the layer you take you sort of the scent now. It is Pol Polish. <laughs> I read it's Polish. Oh, it's Polish. I can say something in Polish. 
I forgot what. I used to be able to speak, say something. I can't. I can speak Russian. Balcony. That's balcony in Russian. I took one lesson. Oh. This is definitely coffee. Mm. Oh, this is really interesting. Yeah, um, yeah, this is really good. It's sort of, yeah, I never sort of, I think what I like with perfumes, when I buy perfumes, I think, would I want to wake up next to a person who smells like this? And, oh, I would, I would definitely. Mm. Hello, people who just joined. I am smelling perfumes that I bought for my own birthday tomorrow. I ordered them online. I have never sort of... Ah, this is... Okay, so this arm is coffee. This hand. It's... Bergamot, mandarin, lemon and coffee. And there's something else underneath. Oh, God. This was I like. So... If you're out and about in Stockholm and you find suddenly, suddenly the scent of coffee, could be me. So, let's do the next one. Is everyone enjoying themselves enormously? I hope you do. Now we're going to try one. I'm just throwing things in the air and letting it fall. This is, oh no, I'm not going to do that. This is one of the few things I've, Oh, a uh, few cents I actually tried because this was given to me as a sample when I ordered another perfume that I'm not going to show you now because I'm sort of, as, it's weird enough as it is, isn't it? So, and this was really good and I'm going to read about it now. It's called Treffpunkt 8 Uhr. Or, and that translates to meeting point 8 p.m. And it's really, it's, I think it's a really old German sort of perfume. If anyone got any questions, feel free to ask. Now I'm going to read about this and I'm going to do it with my, um, well, with my regular voice because, oh, I'm going to leave, put that coffee away. I, I'm sort of enjoying, this was also the most expensive of all the perfumes I bought. This was 1,290 Swedish crowns, which is 1,200, no, $129. And sort of the same amount in pounds. About, about. So, Treffpunkt 8 Uhr, my pronunciation is perf perfect, is another new interpretation of a Schwarzlose classic. Schwarzlose. Yes, that's the name. That's the brand. Uh, richer in contrast, a fragrance that captures the exciting hopes of rendezvous with all its connotations. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The exciting Vetivier fragrance got its name a long time ago. In the golden 20s in Berlin, it symbolized, oh, this is the Weimar Republic, I hope. It symbolised the legendary Berlin evenings where the international art scene came together. Celebrities such as Marlene Dietrich or Josephine Baker were well-received guests in the city's clubs and contributed to the glitz and glamour of the scene. I'm really good at the reading, aren't I? I think I'm really good. Oh, Helga from Sweden, hello! <laughs> uh, I am talking about many about perfumes for myself. Glitz and glamour. That's the fragrance of the time. But that did not stop the famous French dancer and actress Josephine Baker from wearing it. No, I must have skipped something. Meeting point eight two was considered a sporty men's fragrance at the time. But that did not stop the famous French dancer and actress Josephine Baker from wearing it. Today, the fragrance is officially a unisex perfume and convinces with a fresh ginger and mango cord in the top note and the seductive vetivier heart in space note. There is no better olfactory, olfactory I've just learned, that means something to do with the nose and the smell. Translation for the expectation of a date hinted at in the name of the fragrance. 
So the aroma family is woody, spicy, green, and I sort of like I like woody and spicy. I'm not so crazy about green. The top notes are grapefruit, mango, and ginger. Uh huh. Uh, the heart note, the the one who sort of tends to stay, are sage, nutmeg, and saffron. And the base note is just vetiver. And here we go. I've tried it, so hopefully I will love it. Oh, yes. I tried this at work. Sort of, I got the gifts and I went around because I got three sort of free samples and I went to everyone sort of, do you like this? Do you like this? Do you like this? I don't know what I had third scent somewhere. Or maybe I spread it out over three days. And everyone preferred this. Treffpunkt 8 Uhr. Oh, it's fresh. It's really good. Coffee. This is sort of... This smells like the taste of coffee in your mouth when it's not you know, the smell of coffee in your mouth, but it's just sort of, mm, ooh, it's coffee. But, and something else. This is fresh, but sort of metallic something. What could that be? Sage? I'm not sure. This is really good. This is sort of not even a scent. This is sort of, you could, you could sort of, you could think that this is, how many perfumes have you sammanlagt, Roger? Oh, how many perfumes do I have uh, all together? Someone asked. God. One, two, three, four, ten. Maybe. But then I have some perfumes that I don't use anymore. I sort of bought this one here. Tar. And yes, Shara. So this one is sort of, you can sort of have it for fun. But you sort of. This you have to sort of mix it with something else because it does uh, this. And then there's, yeah, about 10 perfumes, 15 at the most. I'm very sort of, hello, Cookie Helen. I'm talking about perfumes, 10 dozen. Well, I could have 10 dozen, but I haven't got 10 dozen. I have 10 or 15. I don't know. I'm worth it, though. This is, yeah, this is fresh. Fresh and metallic, and this is, this is intimate. This is fresh. This is sort of, what would I say? Hello, people, I'm trying, for those of you who just joined, I'm trying out perfumes, because you can say Helene. Oh, Kuiki is my dog. Oh, okay, so, so, so <coughs> <coughs> sorry. Okay, Helene, hello, and give my love to Kuiker. This is also, but this is sort of, yeah, this is sort of, I was thinking of bags, so it was black shoes. Yes, he's much worse. So Young Wick has followed me for years, and he knows my big bag collection, but perfumes, not so much. This is also good, it's not... This is sort of like, oh, let's go back to sleep. And this is sort of like, oh, let's get out of bed. But not in that way. I mean, not in a bad way. It's just sort of like, oh, the day has begun. Now, the last one I bought mainly for its name. So let's see if I can change this. So, and I can sort of add a new one. And this one is called, can I do that? Can I do that? Can I do that? Yes, Wild. Uh, and let's see what's in it. This is an eau de parfum, parfum for men, olfactive aphorisms, which means aphorism, aphorisms, oh God, I'm ruining this, uh, aphorisms about sort of scent. Jardin d'écrivain took inspiration from Oscar Wilde's famous uh, aphorisms to utter Olfactive, olfactive sayings. Words like sense have the power to reveal reality. Oh, someone asked a question. You can give it. Oh, yes. Okay, so these, yes, yeah, someone asked me to sort of rate these. I'm getting back now because I'm going go to go like that. Yes. To rate them. And I would say it is kind of hard because you need to have them on a little longer 
Um, so, the first one, the coffee one, it's sort of stagnant. It's the same. It's nice. This one, oh, it's sort of, it's, it's, I maybe like that better because it's really hard to pinpoint what it is. It's like, I like, I like the way that you smell. Have you washed or haven't you? You don't know. Damn, how do I open this? I don't want to ruin it. God. Am I opening it? Oh, damn. Oh, I ruined it. Yeah, oh, just the sort of, I tore it. Now, Oscar Wilde. This is really packaged. Sort of basic. This is supposed to be, okay, fragrance family is spicy, woody, chypre. Uh, and spicy, I like woody, I like chypre, I don't know. So top notes are bergamot and grapes. I mean, who knew about grapes in, in perfume? I did not. Perfume. So, I mean, what do they, I don't know. So, heart note, figs, cloves, tea. Base notes, oak moss and vetivier. And now I'm going to do that on my hand. We are now, for those, spejar från er från Stockholm igen, mot Stockholm igen, Annika. Someone's going, someone's looking at this story. She's going to Stockholm again? Why? For Easter? Why? Isn't everything closed on Easter? Isn't, I mean, isn't everyone going to Copenhagen this Easter? I feel like it. Copenhagen or Germany? Here we go, people. Wild. I hope I like this, because it would be so fun if someone said, oh, what is that smell? And I would just go, it's wild. I mean, what, right? Right? Let's, yeah, let's do it. What is, what is that sound? It's wild. I did that so good. So well, so magnificently. What if I don't like it now? Let's see, let's see. So this is supposed spicy woody, this bergamot and grapes. So fresh, fresh, it's supposed to be fresh now. Fresh. Oh, and it is. It's almost, oh, oh, you know, this almost smells like a gin and tonic. You know, when you started to, just, oh, yes. I know there's something else, but it's sort of the beginning of gin and tonic when you sort of just get, give me a drink, anything, I had a hell of a day. And they sort of put the, suddenly I'm in the bar. Hello, Henry, give me gin and tonic and don't be skimpy. Stingy. Skimpy? Don't be stingy. And then they get the, and you drink it and they sort of, yes, it's fantastic. Yes, this is like a taste testing. This is good. It's it's sort of, it's a little feminine, but not, what could it be? Fig, cloves, oak moss, grape tea. Oh, this reminds me of, fuck. What is it it reminds me of? For those of you who just joined, I'm trying out scents. I bought a lot of perfume for myself, three. And now I'm trying them on and just trying to convey what they smell like. This one, I think it's it's very, it's kind of discreet. So it might not be that sort of, you know, I walk into a room and someone screams, what's that smell? And I'll go, it's wild. That might never happen because it, it more has to be like, what's that smell? And I would go, it's wild. Ah, cultura dell'arte. Now that he's sober and dry, yes. <laughs> now that I'm sober and dry. But I like this. It's there's some sort of memory, but I can't really. I can't remember. 
it's really good. So out of the the ones, I didn't dislike anyone, which is sort of oh, and this was eighty five dollars, so not much. Well, I mean, not tremendous, but it's it's wild. Uh, I like it. So which one did I like best, you asked? No, you didn't. Jag har ju snöat in helt på Fredrik Maj. Ah, Thorn Guy say Fredrik Maj, Mal, Musk, Revangeur. What is that? Could you sort of send me, Torgny, could you send me a sort of, write to me about that? Because I, 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 I want to, I'm guessing number two. Yes, Sauvignon Rick. The one I like the best of these is I'm going to take this down it is Treffpunkt um 8 Uhr because it's but I I didn't dislike any of them and this is sort of oh god this wild to me is is it's a person it's a person who smells like this and it's almost like a person when I was a kid and I also told you it smells like gin and tonic, didn't I? So someone was drinking gin and tonic. Now this is sort of like someone when I was when I was a kid, mixed with gin and tonic. But yes, if I would buy, if I were you and I would buy any of these, it would be. Now I'm going to do this. The winner is Treffpunkt und. No, wait. How do I do this? Get it bigger. So Treffpunkt um acht Uhr, and you can buy it at fragranceandart.com. It's a Swedish brand. It's a Swedish, yeah, it's a, yeah, a reseller. <coughs> oh, God. Happy birthday to me. Now, I really enjoy this, but I need to have a lay down and maybe a wash. And also the coffee. The coffee, it's totally changed. There's a hint of coffee in it. But... Anyway, so for those of you who just joined, I am smelling three perfumes. And let's see and take that away. So I'm getting really good at this. Uh, three perfumes. Wild, Treffpunkt und Acht Uhr and Coffee. I did not dislike any of them, but I think I will be wary. If I want to impress someone... I will be wearing a Treffpunkt at 8 Uhr. And uh, if I just want to sort of... Mmm! This is good. Because the bad thing, if you try perfumes like this, and then go to bed, and you sort of, you sort of half sleep, and you sort of, I need to get up and wash. This smells like Lily of the Valley. Damn it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this f terribly fascinating and, and um, oh, so interesting, I think. Yeah, three for casual get-togethers. Yes. Yes, three for casual get-togethers. None of them. Well, this Acht Uhr is when you want to feel a little sort of mysterious, maybe. The others are, are more... In your face. Well, the coffee one is, anyway. Thank you, people, for joining me. I will now um, slowly slip away. In a couple of hours, I'm having my birthday. I, uh, I'm i going to celebrate alone, because everyone is away. So, see above. What? 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 Three for ketchup? One, one, good for work. Two, good for dinner dates. Yes. Okay. And three for cash to get together. Yes. Yes, yes. So Sauvignon Rick has, see, the first one is good for work. Coffee, yes, good, sort of like, hello, here I am, how are you, blah, blah, blah. This is for someone special or for something special. And this is for casual get-together, when you sort of just can sit, you, you know, you sit in the, the theatre and you just go, and everyone said, oh, what's that? And you say, it's wild. Goodbye, everyone.